The first wave of 5G devices are about to hit, but, well, if you're smart, you should hold off on getting one. We'll tell you why. Hi, this is Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to share a bit of news today. Qualcomm today announced their new Snapdragon X55 5G modem chipset. This is a Qualcomm's second generation um, 5G chipset and it will be going to manufacturers later this year and will be available in devices late 2019 and probably mostly throughout 2020. And it is a pretty powerful chip. The, all the current 5G devices that are coming to market for the most part are using the Qualcomm X50 chip. This is their first 5G chipset and well it's a technological proof of concept but it's best just to think of it as kind of a teaser of what 5G can do. The first X50 does not support um, LTE so it requires every 5G device to have a completely parallel separate 4G device inside of it as well um, which makes for a big bulky power hungry cell phone or hotspot or anything else like that. Um, and then it also only supports 5G on a very limited range of high frequency millimeter wave, uh, low range uh, cellular bands. So it's not going to be good for broad 5G coverage. Um, it's great for the carriers to show off, do a few quick trials with, and there's a whole lot of 5G phones and 5G devices that are about to be launched all using this X50 chipset. But well, with the X55, by the end of this year, those all those first generation devices will be obsolete. Uh, in particular, the first generation devices will not be able to use 5G um, on broad or low frequency spectrum as the carriers start to transition from 4G to 5G, which they're going to do rapidly overlaying their 5G signals on top of 4G. Um, and the newer devices will be much more power efficient, much smaller, and more cost effective too. There's a lot of other technical advancements in the new X55 that uh, makes it better across the board. It enables peak insanely theoretical, peak theoretical speeds of 7 gigabits per second, which is just insane. And it is the first um, category 22 um, LTE modem, which on just 4G LTE enables uh, 2.5 gigabits per second peak theoretical speed. So it's a it's a modem chip built for the future as opposed to kind of this one-off that the X50 is. Don't need to really know about the technical stuff. Just the important thing to remember is don't buy into the hype. Don't jump on the first wave of 5G devices. Wait until at the very least the end of 2019 and by the end of 2020, well, that's when 5G will start to go mainstream. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.